It's Attaway General Day, baby. Go ahead, call in sick to work, cancel on your friends, I don't give a fuck, but it's time to watch some Attaway General. Yes, I know episode 2 came out a little while ago, I'm a bit tardy to the party, but I'm trying to savor it. Enjoy every little morsel of content from Attaway General instead of binging it the second it goes up like some kind of Attaway addict. You know, like, you wouldn't tell a heroin addict to just go hard in the paint when he gets his next fix, right? You tell him, hey... Maybe space it out a little bit so you can enjoy it more. And that's what I'm doing. Right away, we're introduced to a new character, a stud, a badass named Jamie. You can tell he's a badass because he's wearing a leather jacket and a motorcycle helmet. Or what I assume is supposed to be a motorcycle helmet, but what it actually looks like is one of the helmets that you'd wear on segways when you're doing like a segway tour of a city. It's not exactly like a heavy-duty helmet. I'm guessing this is all they could find at the thrift store that they raided for the costuming of the series. So I would have expected them to at least have like a real motorcycle helmet as opposed to this thing that makes it look like he was wearing it when riding on like a Razor scooter or something. To me, this entrance kind of screams that the show is written by 60-year-olds because I feel like the dreamy biker guy fantasy died like 30 years ago with like the outsiders and pony boy like i don't know how many girls still fantasize about a guy that like pulls up a leather jacket gets on his harley davidson with greasy gelled hair and then takes out a comb and slicks it back or maybe i'm just wrong you know maybe this is still what girls find like super attractive like you know maybe jamie is the guy your girlfriend is dreaming of when she lies awake next to you you know it's entirely possible i could be wrong what happens to the career in photography I mean, the pay is terrible, and so are my photos, so... <laughs> Swipe right, Dr. H. What, huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, hey, James. <laughs> How's it hanging, man? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Attaway General lore enthusiast, but isn't Dr. Henry married? I could be wrong. I don't know if they established the divorce. In fact, I'm, I'm having vague flashbacks, like some kind of brain dance from Cyberpunk, that, like, perhaps maybe there was a mention of him and his wife being split, so it would make sense that he'd be on Tinder, but even if he is married, his wife needs to understand, this is Dr. Henry. This is the man that literally created the female orgasm. So, you know, it's, it's his world, and we're just hoping to suck his dick in it. So even if Dr. Henry was happily still married, I'm sure his wife would be excited to learn that he was on Tinder slamming some other ham, because it's fucking Dr. Henry, baby. He's gotta spread his wings and come. Maybe if you and Jamie just- No, there's nothing to forgive. I'm not mad. Nina's mad at Jamie about something we don't fully understand yet, but I'm going to wager a guess it has to do with motorcycles. Jamie, you know, he's well known for his love of motorcycles and shitty photography. And I wouldn't be surprised if he broke Nina's heart in his pursuit of motorcycle whispering, or, you know, maybe you see, like a motorcycle therapist or something. Yeah, like some zen in the art of motorcycle maintenance shit, perhaps. Do you date a lot? Mm, not really. I mean, you know how teenage boys are. <laughs> You know, I had a cousin who thought he was gay, but then he went through this whole process to try to figure it out. Turns out he wasn't gay after all. I mean, alright. The worst story ever told, I think. I can't. <gasps> but in the last episode they kissed, I, I thought they were getting married now. Why? What happened? Why? There's no rule against us dating, is there? No, it's my sister. She has a lot going on right now, and she's worried about me. Okay. Well, maybe not no kissing at all. Well, that plot detail lasted about four seconds. No, Holden, we can't kiss because I'm thinking of my sister. Okay, I've stopped thinking about my sister. We can kiss now. Uh, for a second there was touch and go. I thought we were encountering our first major problem of the season here. How would Holden navigate this issue? Uh, but, you know, that was resolved really quickly. It really speed ran that. I was just trying to help. Okay, but this is a hospital, not a church. Surprise! I am switching up the TV assignments. Gotta keep you on your toes. Sasha and Benny, you'll be with Maeve, and Holden, you'll be with Rosie. So it turns out Rosie has found religion and is homophobic, so they switched the roles because she didn't like that Benny was gay. So now Holden is no longer allowed to smooch with Sasha and is now going to be working with Rosie due to her homophobia. So, I mean, we got a lot of moving parts coming in now. <laughs> to my knowledge, I think this is like the first villain they've introduced in Attaway General. God. Right now, the enemy is religion because homophobia is running rampant among the TV volunteers here at the, at the hospital. Because Rosie suggested Benny get help for being gay. 
and she found religion while on her surgery she said she saw the light. I don't necessarily see how that means she has to not like gay people unless the light spoke to her and the Lord was saying that she needs to make sure gay people aren't allowed at Attaway General. I, I don't know. Uh, season 2 is taking a very interesting twist here. So, here's what's gonna happen. The orthopedic surgeon is gonna make an incision through the sheath in your calf that surrounds the tendon, and then she's gonna stitch it back together. Now, excess bleeding and nerve damage are the two major things Doctor. she's gonna- Really, not a whole lot's going on at Attaway General right now. Holden and Sasha are worried that someone's onto their relationship at the, the facility. But other than that, that's just about it. Uh, Dr. Henry comes in and reads a Wikipedia article that they copy and pasted into the script, so that's good. And uh, that's that's really all that's happened so far. Pretty uneventful day at Attaway General. It's time. Am I gonna be okay? You're gonna do great. Not on Dr. Henry's watch, I guess. I don't know why he shot her this look here. This is some sinister shit. What do you mean she's gonna be okay? As he sits there, like, doing this shit with his hands like a cartoon supervillain. I, I don't know what Dr. Henry's plotting here, but he's up to no good right now. The last thing she sees before going under is Dr. Henry come galloping in on horseback with a scalpel and chainsaw. Uh, I, I don't know, they don't conclude here, I'll go ahead and spoil this, they don't conclude what happens with the surgery here. But I wouldn't be surprised in episode 3 she comes out like a fucking cyborg or something crazy. Because Dr. Henry, Dr. Henry's up to something. He's, he's, he's got something up his sleeve. Hey, Jamie. How are you? How's, um, your mom? She's okay. Doctors are trying a new treatment to shrink the tumor, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Sasha, ready to go? This is only the second time we've seen Jamie all episode and he forgot his line. You could see him stumble there a little bit. How's your, uh, uh, your mom? Yeah, the, the woman that, like, popped you out of her vagina or whatever. How is she, is she doing? Is she doing okay? Is she doing good? Is she doing real well? Of course, this shows to illustrate the philosophy of the Attaway General crew. If at first you don't succeed, that's fine. It'll still make the final cut. If you don't get it right the first time, don't worry about it. We're still gonna put it in the final cut. You know, it's just how they do things. They only believe in one take. If it's not perfect after the first take, it's good enough. That's really about the end of the episode. Nina says she's not mad at Jamie, but everyone knows she's mad at Jamie for something we don't fully know yet. But... Hey, that'll be for episode 3, I suppose. Another action-packed episode of Attaway General. More crazy, wild uh, shenanigans going on there at Attaway General. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.